the other thing I think that uh, uh, that uh, is uh, uh, is important to say, and I, I need to be clear about this because of my own situation, the investigation in Rwanda is still going on, and um, I'm still subject to prosecution in Rwanda, even though the United Nations has made it clear that I'm. Um, operating under UN immunity because everything I've done is arises from my work at the United Nations and my investigations uh, as a defense attorney at the ICTR. Um, uh, the uh, uh, prosecutor uh, in uh, Rwanda, Mr. Ngoga, uh, has uh, said that that immunity does not apply to me, although the uh, Office of Legal Affairs at the UN maintains that it does. So my situation is a bit ambiguous, and with the uh, ambassador here, um, uh, I'm not sure uh, <laughs> what sort of jeopardy my my uh, um, uh, my uh, speech today uh, uh, puts me in. So I'm a, I'm a bit uncomfortable, but um, um, I'm hoping uh, that because uh, I, I I didn't realize that. Uh, as I let him know uh, that I was going to Rwanda before I went last time, and I thought that perhaps I'd be stopped at the border <laughs> rather than being arrested once I got there. Um, but the idea that Rwanda is the kind of country that would do that, and that my country is, my country is supporting them, uh, it just seems extraordinary to me. Um, however, they're entitled to run their country as they, as they will. Um, uh, but it seems to me that that's not the sort of country that my country should be supporting. 